Yeah, we know what we're capable of. Everyone in the lead does. That's why they, that's why Casey doubles the way they do. What stands out about that secondary for the Chiefs? If I'm being honest, nothing. They just know how to play us. They know the leverages. They know what splits we in. They just know what we going to do certain movements. Um, they throw a little double-doubles at us to stop the two best players on the outside, and that's all they do. I mean, it's not really like they got a Jalen Ramsey on these squads, so you know what I'm saying? So, not much. You know this. It's, it's tough for teams to win in Kansas. Okay. That can be taken. They can take it how they want to. I don't care. But if, if you don't play, would that be a problem? You know, I'm sure you want to go out and back it up. But if yeah, play, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm – at the end of the day, there's so much that I can do myself. It's not like I'm Iron Man. I can't throw the football to myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a team sport. At the end of the day, it's just I know what I see on paper. And I know what I see in game. That's why they double everybody because they can't do it one-on-one. -on -one. The best player on their team is Snead, and that's a fact. Everybody knows that. That's why they double-double everything they see. They just got what well, they drafted, two new corners. That's longer. They're trying to match Snead. That's why Snead at corner now. I already know it. Like it's, I'm not bugged about it. They know I. They know I'm good. They know how to play us. That's what it is. But it's not like they got a superstar on their defense. He was dinged up in that championship game. Was he on Who? Your I can't remember. Who? I don't even know who that is. Is that number six? Um, I don't know, man. I don't. Just a guy to me. It ain't Jesse Bates to me. You want me to go comparisons? I, it's not the same. Just saying. Mindset wise, at this point, in the game, you have to mentally just prepare to play, even if you. Yeah, at this point, it's just mentally preparation. At this point, get myself mentally ready to play. Um, but you know, I'm just adding fire to the fuel right now. They're gonna take this run with it. Hope they put it in the locker. But it's alright though. As long as I'm mentally ready to play, I gotta be. This feels by design. What? To give them a little bit. Out of the fight, like you just mentioned. Is it or did you just decide? I don't know. I don't know, man. I, lo I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I wish I could say. I wish I could say. I can't say. <laughs> what were you watching last week like from the sideline? I know you want to be out there. You see the team really get blown out. I mean, um, it's not fun watching football from the sideline. Um, I like making plays for the team, helping the guys out. You know what I'm saying? I want to try my best to do that. So, um, only thing I could do from the sideline last game was just try to point out the, the, the differences and how they playing T and TB and try to get them the ball. So, uh, I try to be like a another coach on the sideline for real, just helping out. When we started, you said it was up to you, so you're saying the trainers are saying you're good to go. It's just a matter of you. Um, basically, yeah. Basically. How would you describe Jamar Chase with an edge versus Jamar Chase without an edge? Since you have an edge today. Um, I don't know, man. Some days I wake up pissed off. So, Today's today is one of them. I can't say that today. Sorry. Anything to do with football? They got to do with everything. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> That's a good one.